You started just around the corner from here in 2010. What was the initial vision for Tech Hub? I always really liked the idea of creating a, a physical space where people could come together to work and meet each other and mm -hmm. run events. We, we sort of announced that we were going to do it. I think it was at a, a TechCrunch event and I went completely hoarse because people are saying, Will this be open next week? How much will it cost? And VCs giving me their cards. And so that was when we realized people really wanted this. As a result of things like Linux and the open source movement, people suddenly had the democratizing tools mm -hmm. to create companies and platforms in their back bedroom. And all of a sudden, you don't necessarily need an office. That's been the fundamental change over the last few years. How does it work day to day in terms of people working together but on different projects on different companies. There's this sense that you can ask other people. Because often when you go to events uh, you hear from people who made it 10 years ago. But sometimes learning from someone who's six months further on from you is incredibly valuable. So there still is an ethos of sharing in the internet community. Being an entrepreneur is incredibly, um, it can be incredibly lonely, it can, be, can feel quite isolating. And being in a room with a hundred other people who are also working on their crazy internet thing, suddenly it feels like I can do this, I can be part of something, even mm -hmm. if I'm just working on my own. There's so much innovation, there's so much ingenuity out there yeah. that you rarely find people who are doing exactly the same thing. Most people aren't really worried about the idea of sort of stealing each other's ideas. Um, the biggest challenges that most startups have, particularly if it's a consumer product, is marketing and getting the word out there. And execution. It's about speed to market. And actually, most of the time, if somebody's working on a similar product to you in Tech Hub, they're almost certainly going to get together. And a lot of vet investors prefer that. They go, you know, they prefer to smash people together and get that, that thing happening. You've got other offices in the UK, so uh, Manchester and Swansea? Is Manchester that right? and Swansea, yep. Uh, and then Riga and Bucharest and you're Riga moving into Bangalore and Berlin. Bangalore is happening at the moment. Okay. Um, the vision was always global domination, really. <laughs> Before we even launched, um, we had people emailing us saying, I want to do Tech Hub Oslo. I want to do Tech Hub, you know, Mumbai. We, we ended up with a, a list of 80 different cities where there were people saying, I want to do this with you now. But what do you think Tech Hub in particular did to change the, the community? People, you know, go to, want to connect, connect with the community via conferences. But you go to a conference, it costs, you know, a thousand pounds or some enormous amount of money. We were going to be um, uh, bringing this whole idea up through the community rather than trying to impose mm -hmm. too much of a kind of a set business model on the idea. You know, we, we set up a viral campaign to get feedback on what was going on out there about what people wanted. And then that changed out what our ideas about what, what we should mm -hmm. provide. We um, always said that people just needed coffee, power, Wi-Fi, and each other. And they were the four things. Yeah. That and you maybe needed. a loo. Yeah. <laughs> and what sets Tech Hub apart from these others? Uh, because there, there is actually a lot of competition right now. We focus on being a community rather than a co-working space. One of the team uh, said, we, you know, we don't, we don't sell you a desk, we sell you the person you're sat next to. We kind of wanted to manufacture serendipity. We wanted to create uh, a community in a space where, where serendipity would like, really work in your favour. And also just cre created a great interface between big companies that want to reach down into Absolutely. this innovation ecosystem. Um, as well as ones who want to partner with big companies. Yeah, as well. we, we have a no, yeah we have a number of um, uh, of big uh, companies that partner with us. Uh, Google uh, is is the obvious one. Um, we help quite a number of our companies get great press and PR opportunities because when someone comes in to interview me, we have a chat and then I'm like, come and meet these wonderful mobile companies. What is the likelihood that another global company can come of one of these? types of environments? Most tech entrepreneurs are focusing on, on globalization right from the very beginning. The particular mix of people that you get in London now is incredible. 
talent is amazing and mm. the amount of business and companies that are going that are basically going to be much bigger than Silicon Valley over the next few years and it's not something they're particularly aware of. Well, listen, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It's really exciting to have this conversation. I've learned a lot. Elizabeth, Mike, Elizabeth Varley, Mike Victor. Thank you.